Hello everyone. I am doing my uh, big reviews, even though right now I hate Bold Action. I'm never going to play it again. Book is coming up. Of course, I'm going to uh, to go through the lists and uh, start training. Um, it's just because I lost the Scottish Nationals. No fair. Right. I'm going through some lists today, which are quite interesting. Um, and we'll see how we go. Um, the first list I'm going to go through is from last summer. And last, um, I'm going to criticize your list. I'm sorry, uh, I am. And it's only because I am a, an evil, wacker um, competition player. And many of the choices that you have picked for your list are maybe not optimized for competition play. Um, they're more thematic, in my view. So I am going to criticize some of your options. If you like your list, please don't listen to this. Just do whatever you like. And if it works for you, all the more power to you. Okay? So just that disclaimer um, out of the way, because I am going to criticize, and I may not be right. Um, right. I'll go through the list for Lars and all the rest of you. And it is US Rangers, and it is all veteran, very thematic. But, and here comes the first problem, there's only nine order dice in the list, and that is very, very low for a thousand point competition plague tournament style list. Um, it's, it's really surprisingly low. Um, and I think it's going to be a detriment to the list. I think it's it's going to really... I think, last you're going to find that at some points you're going to um, lose the dice game, that the opponent will get critically important dice at the right moment, and you won't because he has so much more dice than you do. Um, so that will be a thing, I think. The list consists of a veteran lieutenant with two helpers, and this is actually mathematically sound, but with two helpers, you're no longer a small team, which means you're easier to hit. So there is like a trade-off here for being veteran and large enough to actually do stuff, but you're easier to hit. The same is true for the air observer. Again, it has two man extra. It makes it easier to hit, but you can actually do stuff with the unit. And because they are free. You can equip them with SMGs uh, for free, which I think you should. Um, I would maybe have saved the points for at least one of the extra men for each of these, uh, the, the lieutenant and the air observer, because you might have needed them other places in your list. Um, then you have two 10-man uh, ranger units. Wow. Oh, sorry, I just lost my, lost my light. It's center focused here. I'm just going to try and reactivate it, please. I've been sitting still for too long. Um, right. So you have two ranger squads, um, veteran, 10 man, very, very big. You could also maybe have saved like one or two men in these squads to put extra stuff in your list. Um, but two rangers. Rangers lead the way, moving up, um, going for the objectives on the table. They're very hard to shift. Very, very hard to shift. Um, and they have rifles and that move and fire rule. So they're also like moving without having the minus one to shoot. That works. You have an M20 Scout car, which is a 7 plus open topped with an HMG. I think you'll find that it quite often gets pinned down, um, and I think it will fail order tests. Even though it's a veteran, I think it will fail some of its order tests during that tournament um, just from being pinned because it's open topped. Um, of course, you can wreck here away from dangerous things, but. With that few dice in your list, you're going to need stuff that does something to the enemy. And I don't think that this will do enough. I also think that HMGs are not 
it doesn't have enough shots for most targets. I think you're going to need to focus on enemy vehicles, and for that you need to get up really close to him um, and into the flanks or rear of his vehicles. So um, you might be good at using it. I'm not sure I'm good enough. Um, a uh, M3 Stuart veteran, not the darker version, but with recce. So it only has two machine guns. Um, I like recce on tanks, and it is a cheap tank. I think it would have been better with the machine guns, just because you have so little in your list that can actually hurt the enemy a lot. And a, a light um, anti-tank gun is, is okay, but not good enough to take on enemy tanks. So... I think this this tank should have been more focused on taking on enemy infantry instead. Um, medium mortar, veteran. And again, why not a spotter? Why not use like some of the points for your veteran lieutenant, for instance, one of the extra guys, and buy a spotter? Um, it would give me, have given you so much more reach with that mortar. I like the medium mortars. Everyone in Denmark likes medium mortars, right? But without the spotter... If you're buying him veteran, then I think you, you really need that, that spotter just to have the the possibility of different targets. Veteran sniper, very competitive choice. He's very difficult to shift. Place him on an objective and then just have him in ambush. He will be very difficult for the enemy to get away from that objective. And a veteran bazooka. Um, to round off the list, you need something that is threatening to all tanks, and that is it. Make sure that you deploy him in the center of your table so that he can move to where the enemy tank goes. I think that's it. Good luck, Lars. I hope you do well. And I'm sorry if I was harsh, harsh with your list. Um, it wasn't my intention. Cheers. Bye.